Coming. Well, my friends, good morning, everybody, my friends. Well, we did it. We did it. We pulled it off, didn't we? We pulled it off. We, we broke the deadlock. We ended the gridlock. We smashed the roadblock. And in this glorious, <laughs> glorious pre-breakfast moment, before a new dawn rises on a new day and a new government, I want, first of all, to pay tribute to good colleagues who lost their seats through no fault of their own in the, in the elections just gone by. And I, of course, want to congratulate absolutely everybody involved in securing the biggest Conservative majority since the 1980s. Which, which, which was literally, literally, as I look around, literally before many of you were born. And uh, with this mandate and this majority, we will at last be able to do what? We've been paying attention. Uh, because this, this election means that getting Brexit done is now the irrefutable, irresistible, unarguable decision of the British people. And with this election, I think we've put an end to all those miser miserable threats of a second referendum. Yeah. And I say... I say respectfully, I say respectfully to, to our stentorian friend in the blue 12-star hat. <laughs> That's it. Time to put a sock in the megaphone. <laughs> and and, and give, everybody, give everybody some peace. But I have, a, I have a message to all those who voted for us yesterday, especially those who voted uh, for us Conservatives, uh, One Nation Conservatives, for the first time. You may only have lent us your vote, and you may not think of yourself as a natural Tory. And as I, I think I said 11 years ago uh, to the people of London uh, when I was elected uh, in what was thought of as a, as a Labour city, uh, your hand may have quivered over the ballot paper <laughs> as before you put your cross in the Conservative box and you may intend to return to labor next time round and if that is the case i am humbled that you have put your trust in me and that you have put your trust in us and i and we will never take your support for granted And I will make it, and we, I will make it my mission to work night and day, flat out, to prove you right in voting for me this time and to earn your support in the future. And I say to you that in this election, your voice has been heard and about time too. Because we politicians have squandered the last three years, three and a half years, in squabbles about Brexit. We've even been arguing about arguing and about the tone of our arguments. I will put an end to all that nonsense and we will get Brexit done on time by the 31st of January. No ifs, no buts, no maybes. Leaving the European Union as one united kingdom, taking back control of our laws, borders, money, our trade, immigration system, delivering on the democratic mandate of the people and at the same time, this One Nation Conservative government will massively increase our investment in the NHS. The health service that represents the very best of our country with this single beautiful idea that whoever we are, rich, poor, young, old, the NHS is there for us <coughs> when we are sick. And every day that service performs miracles. And that is why the NHS is this One Nation Conservative government's top priority. And so we will deliver 50,000 more nurses and 50 million more GP surgery appointments. And how many new hospitals? 40. 40 correct. And we will deliver long-term NHS budget uh, enshrined in law, 650 million extra every week, Health Secretary. <laughs> and, 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 all the other, and all the other priorities that you, the people of this country, voted for record spending on schools, an Australian-style points-based immigration system, more police, 
How many? Colossal new investments in infrastructure, in science, using our incredible technological advantages to make this country the cleanest, greenest on earth with the most far-reaching environmental programme. And you, the people of this country, voted to be carbon neutral in this election. You voted to be carbon neutral by 2050. And we'll do it. You also voted to be Corbyn neutral by, by Christmas, by the way. And we'll do, we'll do that too. You, you voted for all these things. And it is now this government, this people's government, it's our solemn duty to deliver on each and every one of those commitments. And it is a great and heavy responsibility, a sacred trust for me, for every newly elected Conservative MP, for everyone in this room and everyone in this party. And I repeat that in winning this election, we have won votes and the trust of people who have never voted Conservative before and people who have always voted for other parties. Those people want change. We cannot, must not, must not let them down. And in delivering change, we must change too. We must recognise the incredible reality that we now speak as a one-nation Conservative Party, literally for everyone from Woking to Workington, from Kensington, I'm proud to say, to Clwyd South, from Surrey Heath to Sedgefield, from Wimbledon to Wolverhampton, and as the nation hands us this historic mandate, we must rise to the challenge and to the level of expectations. And Parliament must change so that we in Parliament are working for you, the British people. And that is what we will now do, isn't it? Yeah. That is what we will now do. Let's, let's, go out, let's go out and get on with it. Let's unite this country. Let's spread opportunity to every corner of the UK with superb education, superb infrastructure and technology. Let's get Brexit done. But first, my friends, let's get breakfast done too. Thank you all. Thank you all very much for coming.